and welcome back to another one of my videos. So today we are doing some housework, just some things around the house. It's Saturday, um, Brian worked for a little bit and now he's home to help me with some things around the house I know he's really excited to do. Not quite. But anyways, things have to get done around here just like many families have things to do on their weekends and this today unfortunately is one of those days and that's okay because it's kind of gloomy and kind of rainy out so I thought this was the perfect day to finally get some things done that needed to be done for quite a long time. So one of the things that I am doing today is I am cleaning my indoor grill and I love my indoor grill but it's a pain to clean because it has some pieces to it so it's not always fun to clean but on a rainy day it's kind of nice to throw some food on the grill inside the kitchen so it comes in really handy. And I don't have to bring up any appliances um, if I want to grill it inside. Um, I know I have a Foreman grill that I use for certain things and I don't always want to lug it upstairs. Burgers, pork chops. Also found something to kind of clean around the grill. When you cook, there's grease splatter, tiny little things that get stuck and it's just kind of a mess. So I came across these the other day and wanted to try it. So it is an electric cleaning brush. I hope you can see that. And we're going to use it for... Um, the kitchen mostly. I know it says here you can use it for the bathroom or the oven, the stoves. I'm just gonna be using this one for my kitchen because I don't want to use them for my kitchen and then use them in the bathroom. Like it sounds kind of gross to me. And then it also has some cleaning brush little refill pads so I'm gonna be using those as well. Now I'm not sure how like sharp the bristles are. I may not use this. I'm just not sure. Um, it just depends. So I'm gonna open it up and we're gonna see what it looks like and yeah these bristles are really um hard so i'm not sure if i'm gonna use it on this i might try one of these and just see if it's not as rough i will probably use this one because it's not as hard and i might try this one it's a little softer but this one is really stiff so i don't think i'm gonna use that one for my kitchen but these two i could probably use so we're going to try that and it looks like it just screws and then you can put some batteries in there. looks like it just takes some um, four double A's. So we need to find some batteries now. I'm not sure if I have any that are not dead. So that's what we're doing today. Cleaning shirt on. Okay, so here's my grill. There's stuff all over it right now and I left it on purpose so I can show you how I clean it. I'm not going to wipe it down because this is real life and I'm not going to stage anything. You can see it's dirty. It's got stuff on it. I cooked and now it needs to be clean. First thing I'm going to do is remove these. Zuff. And I'm going to have to remove my inserts that are down here so I can um, clean. So I remove the burner. I'll usually just put it over here. So under here is like the grease tray. It drips all the dirty grease and crumbs and all that. So we're going to take that, we're going to remove that, and as you can see, there's a lot of stuff under there. We're going to clean it. The next thing I do is I'm going to lift this out. So it comes out just like that, and I can throw this in the sink. And as you can see, there's crumbs under here because it just collects under there. Right under here, you can see all the little crumbs that are all over here, and we're going to get rid of all these crumbs. I clean it every time I cook, but crumbs just get there and it's a mess. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean this area. So the next thing I'm doing is taking one of these little um, scrubbies or whatever you want to call them. My friend actually made this for me. She made a bunch of these. I use these every day. It's always fun to change out the colors. I know I have a 4th of July one, Halloween one. Yeah, um, these are really fun and I love the bright colors. So I'm picking these out because it's almost summertime. When I'm done, I just throw them in the washer. And we're just going to wipe down all of this. can see all the little crumbs get in there right there and so that's what we're starting with and it's all those little areas in here that are really hard to get so I have to take the drip pan out and I usually wipe it a couple times just to make sure it's nice and clean sometimes in this area it's really hard to clean so I will actually clean and I will get a little toothpick in there and kind of run it all the way down and get that grease that's stuck in there that I just can't reach and that really cleans it up. 
use a little bit of Dawn and just put a little bit in there, not much. And then I'm going to get some warm water and I'm going to scrub this. Place those back on. So we move over here and this is where the exhaust fan is. So we're going to lift this out. Again, this is full of crumbs and all sorts of stuff because we just made some food. But as you can see, all sorts of stuff on there. We're going to clean it up. So this is where I'm going to use my electric cleaning brush and we're going to try this out and see if that works or not. So we're going to try it out if I can get some more light in there. So now you can kind of see how much that has to be cleaned. Wet that down first. As you can see, all the stuff on here, we're gonna try it out. So that is clean. That actually worked pretty well. It did splatter a little bit, so just be careful of that if you get one of these. But otherwise, it actually cleaned it pretty well, so pretty happy with that. But before I can put that on, of course we're not done yet. Um, I have to wipe another area. And we're just going to place that right on top of there, just like that. And then we're going to tackle the burners over on this side. But anyways, when you're cooking a lot, that's just kind of what they do. They just get discolored, but all in all, it looks clean. And I'm just going to wipe down over here on the buttons. They tend to get um, they, they tend to get kind of dirty and things get splattered all over the buttons. Um, so that's the last thing that I'm going to do. So here's the grill. When it's done, it just needs to be wiped off, but that's what it looks like when it's all cleaned up. So it's a little bit of a process, but I still really love my grill. So anyways, that is one project I needed to tackle and now that is done. So the next project that we're going to do is outside. It's kind of been raining on and off, but we've had our lights up on the house. My Christmas lights up and it's been snowy and then it was rainy and snowy again and more snow and more snow. And then we had a lot of rain. We have a steep driveway, so it wasn't really good to be up on a ladder when it's all rainy out and slippery. So. Today it's kind of drizzling, but I'm hoping he can take those down. I'm getting a head start on like Memorial, Summer, 4th of July. Um, so we're just kind of putting a few things up. I have my fruit smoothie. Looks delicious. Has some mango, peaches, strawberries. Pineapple. All right, I have my fruit smoothie right there, and we're going to get busy cleaning. It's delicious, by the way. Okay, it 
the streets of Butter. Do it on the streets. Okay, now what? The punch is the street is singing. That's hanging up wind chimes. Wind chimes. And it's raining. And it's raining. Yeah. I just said that one. The kids' video. The kids' video. But mm. it's so. What was it called? Raining. Connection. Oh. And one more thing, somebody wants to say hi, so it was Cinco de Mayo the other day, so. Alright, we have Benji here, because it was Cinco de Mayo the other day, and he's got his fiesta hat on, and he looks adorable, so I wanted to show you that. I don't think he's impressed, but I wanted to show you his little hat because he looks really cute.